So what's it like for a Florida State guy to be a man? I knew that was going to come up. Of course. Um, <laughs> It's, uh, I mean, this is, this is what I do, you know, coaching football. Uh, I know I played at Florida State, but I'm telling you, me and my family and I, we are excited to be down here um, in Miami. I mean, what, what better place to live? And not only do that, doing something you really love to do. So very excited. Um, and uh, I'm, 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 that's one game on the schedule I know I'll circle. I'm going to circle. So we'll be ready. We'll be darn sure ready for that game. There but I'm your, excited. Your thoughts on what you have with Francisco? What does he do well? Um, you know, Francis is very, 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 Kiko, Francisco is very um, consistent. He's very instinctive, has very, very good awareness, um, really good football player, active, um, athletic. Um, he does a lot of good things. It's, it's hard to find a lot of weaknesses. He's a really, really good football player. Not only that, uh, he's a better, better person. So excited to be able to coach him, um, teach him, mentor him, uh, and um, he'll, he'll have a great year this year. Coach Bobby Washington guys in the group. Saw some things come out. One of the fastest guys on the team. What are your impressions of him so far? Unbelievable athlete. You know, long, big, athletic, tough, twitchy, can run. I mean, very, very fast and very, very explosive. When he walks out in the field, he sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, from an athletic standpoint, his measurables is what you look for from size, speed, length. Um, obviously, he's a young player. He's continually learning what to do and when to do what and how to use what tools. Bobby has a very, very, very bright future. Um, and uh, I'm excited to be able to coach him and, and mentor him as well. Very excited about Bobby's upside and his future. And just going back, you know, talking about you know, coming from FSU, just what are some of your memories of playing Miami when, in your days at Tallahassee? <laughs> I had some good memories. Um, probably, probably the one that sticks out was, that was my, very, my very, very first collegiate game back in 2005, Monday night. And uh, I remember it was the opening kickoff. Devin Hester was back there. And I run down the field, and I'm like, wow, this is this, this big time college football. And I can see all the, the cameras flashing. They went iPhones back then, it was cameras. And you could see it flashing. I ran down there, I was first down field, they missed a tackle on Devin Hester. So that, <laughs> uh, uh, that was a fond memory. Probably my very first play in the, in the, in the rival. And you weren't the only one to miss a tackle on them. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Coach, first season at Miami, just how are things going so far? I mean, you used to go to the Big so you're still in the yeah, well, I grew up in the ACC country. You know, grew up in Winston, North Carolina. Father played in the ACC at North Carolina. I played in the ACC, obviously. Um, coached in the ACC at, at another place. So I'm very familiar with the schools here, uh, what offenses and teams uh, like to do from a schematic standpoint, the personnel on each team. Um, so that's a benefit. And so to stay in the conference and be in it, um, you know, very, very excited about that because of the familiarity. And, um, Excited to get to work here. You know, it's been awesome. You know, we hit the ground running. Um, the culture and what we're doing, what we're building, the, the, the kids in the room, the linebackers, um, they have stepped to me. We've done a great job each and every day. I think they've gotten better each and every day. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to the future and what it looks like because um, I think we have a very bright future and we have a lot of uh, fine young men in that room. So it's a, it's a blessing to coach them. What's it like working with Jason Taylor? It's his first time being a college coach. What's it like working with him? Great. He's a, one, he's a great man. He's a great person, first and foremost. Um, and then he's a great teacher. Um, you know, he does a great job of articulating what he wants to do. And you, if you can't see it, I mean, if, you, if you're out there watching, he gets, he's getting the best out of his players. And so that's the definition of, of a coach is, I, how can I get a player to a place that he can't get to by himself? And so um, I think he defines that. And, uh, and he's a really good person and a really good coach. So it's great to be around him. We're gonna tap. We're gonna dictate. We're gonna play downhill. We're gonna be aggressive in what we do. Um, and I'll, I'll tell them we're gonna be the complete football player. We got to be great at all three phases. We got to be able to get out in the quarterback in the, in the pass rush game, sideline to sideline, very instinctive, having those around the ball in the running game. And then we got to be in windows and be able to blanket receivers and tight ends and and, and, and and whatnot in the passing game. And then be very good and cerebral in zone coverage and matching routes and so on and so forth. So we got to be the complete football player and we got to be able to affect the game in all three phases. And we will. Coach, what, what, what have the connections been like with Coach Guidry? Mm -hmm. uh, what's that been like? Any unique differences with him as a coordinator compared to other coordinators you've worked with? Man, he's awesome. You know, very, very vibrant, enthusiastic. He loves football. He loves ball. Very meticulous. Uh, wants the best out of each and every player and coach. Um, and it's going to hold you accountable. And that's all you want. You want that. Um, so 
Uh, he's a true leader. He leads by example. You know, some, some guys talk it but don't lead it, and he leads by example. And I've been blessed. I've been to work with Brian Brown and Coach Cho G and, and Jay Hobson, Tony Pecorar and Mickey Andrews. I've been blessed with, to, uh, you know, Ty Grantham to be around some great defensive minds. And so, you know, Coach G's done a great job. He sets the example. He leads, the, he leads by example. And uh, it's a blessing to be able to work with him. Um, it, it really is. So excited about um, this upcoming football season and getting to work each and every day. Um, you know, you, you, you get excited going to that defensive staff room uh, with Coach G leadership. Coach, it's the last question for Coach. From a teaching and philosophy perspective, I guess, mm -hmm. obviously you got middle, weak side, whatever, uh, strong side. Just how much do you want guys to perfect one thing before switching them over or, or, or sort of learning two jobs at once? What's sort of your philosophy? Well, I, I believe in cross training, okay, because in college football, they're not going to just line up and stay there. They're going to move post-snap, pre-snap. They're going to motion. They're going to shift. They're going to get in different formations. And, you know, if you sit one spot all the time and they don't know how to play other spots, they can scheme and they, 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 they can do things to, to attack you. And so, um, obviously, the guy's got to be able to prefer, perfect one seat, one position, but we will cross-train because the best two players obviously will play. And, you know, you want to put the best out there. And so they're all doing a great job. Corey, K4, you know, Kiko, Bobby, West, um, you know, all, all they're doing a really good job in playing both and cross training and, and, and being able to dissect and regurgitate what we're throwing at them. And so um, um, excited about their development and they'll continue to get better. It's a long way until we kick off. They continue to get better each and every day. We're going to be just fine.